So here we are in the Airbnb. So before we go this, this is a vastly different than when we started. Right? This is coming out really nice. Yeah, so. it's, it's gonna be a great Airbnb. I think people are gonna love it. The pictures are gonna look good. I think we'll get lots of listings. But Danielle called me last night, Danielle from the cleaning crew, and ran into quite a few problems. We're, we're behind, like we were supposed to have this yeah. on Airbnb last, I'm just, last week we were, was our target. Right. And now we're still, we're still jerking around to get this done, okay? So right. what, so what kind of issues are we looking at? One is the washer and dryer don't work. The dryer is not even coming on and the washer is leaking at the bottom and in the drain pipe. The other issue is that, you know, as an Airbnb, we have to supply the house with certain things to, yeah. to make it yeah. pop and like shampoo, conditioner, body wash, detergent, that sort of thing. And we have no storage in this house. This house has no basement. It has an itty bitty kitchen and there's no closets other than bedroom closets. What we did is we built a closet in the garage because the garage is a pretty good size. So we built a closet out there and we can store the linens and stuff out there, the sheets and towels and everything, but we can't store anything liquid out there because it'll freeze. So I had Neil put up a shelf in the laundry room and so they started putting stuff up and the shelf fell down. So I have to have them either put that back up or what I'm also considering is having them put like some kitchen cabinets in there so that we have multiple shelves or at least two instead and could, of one. And we can lock them. We could. Right? Right. I mean, that would be a smarter idea. Right. But anyway, that, that, is, that is one of the problems is this house just doesn't really have any storage. So what, what is this place in the garage? Let's see. We have got a ton of boxes, don't we? I bought that at Home Depot. That was a couple hundred bucks, so I was thinking we could store the cleaning stuff in there, but again, it'll freeze out here, so that wasn't the best solution. And then we had this built. Again, it wasn't built to how I thought it was gonna be built. I thought they were gonna put shelves all the way across, and he ended up just doing these. So we have some problems I'm gonna tell you about right now. We have a spigot right there. What is that for? I don't know. I was wondering the same thing. That's something to do with a washing machine. It's kind of a drain or something? I have no idea. I saw that yesterday too and I, I was- So I'm I telling was... you, right now it's 10 degrees outside. So- yeah, and it's freezing in here. Right now it's literally, I'm sure it's literally freezing in here. So here's a thought. Instead of, instead of doing that, instead of doing that, mm -hmm. I mean, that's a good option too if you want to put for more storage. You could, where is the electrical panel here? It's in the bedroom. So let's ask Neil if we have a very inexpensive. Like a sub panel type of thing? No, 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 no. A heater, electric heater. Like like a baseboard one, but can it run almost on an outlet? And can it be set to be 50 degrees? And keep it in that closet? Just in the closet. Because a small closet, if we put, you know, insulate the door, a small closet should not cost a ton of money to keep heated. Yeah. We'd only have to do it in the winter months. Right, only when it got below freezing. Right. But that feels cold in there. We could put stuff so it doesn't freeze in there. So why don't we ask Neil about that? So if That would solve that problem. That would solve that problem. All right, so that problem is solved. So, so Wait, we might be okay. We might have enough room when we do the storage closets. And then I have one so, other So idea. make that a backup. Yeah. So the backup plan, the backup plan is to put- Because linens will be fine in the cold. They'll, they'll be fine. Yeah. That's not gonna matter. Right? But I am concerned about this area getting enough heat because even though, because we added this on. Right, we so, bumped it out, right? And mm -hmm. with the leak, I'm wondering if it's a frozen pipe. So. How many problems do we have today? <laughs> so we have a thousand boxes in the front yard. Why are, any reason they why they're They were supposed to pick them up yesterday and drop off new cans and and the trash company just didn't, Dakota's gonna Those call trash them guys, morning. they kind of like themselves sometimes. I tell you, they're, they're, they're very snobby. Oh, I don't like the boxes. I'll pick, dude, I pick up the boxes, jeez. Dakota was gonna call him this morning. When he called last night, they were already closed. So, nothing but non-stop problems <laughs> in our world. That's the way it goes. Nothing but, I mean, that's, welcome to our world that we have to put out, put out fires every day. So, maybe we do have power in here. And maybe, think, we, maybe we have to get an insulated garage door. Maybe. Or, or just get a heat tape. You can get that heat tape that just keeps the pipe from, from right. freezing. That doesn't cost much at all to run. That, that just keeps it above freezing. So why don't you ask Neil about that? Okay. We'll sort of prep this house for cold weather. It only, I, I, I don't, see this thermostat mm -hmm. control, so it only comes on during, yeah. during cold weather. So boxes out front. Yep. Closet, let's see if we can put heat in there. If, if, if we need if it. If we need it. Yeah. If we can put locking cabinets in here, put locking cabinets in here, we're good to go with that. Yep. Anything else here? Um, because right now, I see a lot of stuff. I yeah. don't know if anything is a problem. Like, why is there a mattress in the living room? Is there a, so what's happening there? <laughs> this is the couch you got. Yes. So this couch, I got it for $900. Yes. 
And it was a $3,000 couch. This is a nice leather couch. This because is the one that has a rip someplace. It has a forklift hole in the back of it. We're never gonna see it, right? right. It's against the wall. So I got a $3,000, actually it was over $3,000 for $900. It's comfy too. This will last a long time on Airbnb too. Mm -hmm. It's good, good sturdy. This is great. We got the TVs in, yep. or TV in. Let me show you the rest though. Okay, let's do it. Looks great, I love the candles in the fireplace. Yeah, and those are LED candles. So oh, people can cool. start a fire. So this is one of the queen bedrooms. We have to get the TV set up in here. Will you take the paper off the windows? Yes, and I want them to clean the screens. They're filthy. Okay. Most of the screens are absolutely filthy. Okay. But yes, that needs to go. And then there's bunk beds over here. Is those Wayfair beds? Yep. These are great. They are. This is a cozy little room. This is cute. A little ladder here. Yeah. I like that. And then my other idea for storage was, you know, this house, we had so many challenges with where to put the furnace and the hot water heater and the kitchen was already small, so we couldn't steal any room out of that and the hallway and blah, blah, blah. So we could put a shelf right here too for extra storage. Could. If we need to. If we need to. There's no linen closet here. So I put the towel racks on the wall. So you roll the towels up and put them in there. Nice. Always thinking you. All right, upstairs. So do you remember up here, you could only go in this bathroom from one of the bedrooms? Yeah. And it wasn't a full bath, it was a half bath. So we put the door in the hallway instead, took out a big huge stack pipe and rerouted that, and then put a whole shower in here. Was there a bathroom or was it a toilet? It was just a toilet and a sink. All right. So now we have a full bath. So normally I would have just put one set of twins in a house and the rest queens, but with the ceilings the way they are, um, I couldn't fit bunk beds up here and a queen wouldn't have fit very well. So what's this, what's this house gonna sleep? Eight. Eight, okay. The other one across most sleeps 11. 11. Okay. And then the upstairs master. So we have a downstairs master and an upstairs master. That TV's not gonna fit on there. You wanna bet? Do you not think that I was smart enough to measure that? How much are we betting? All right, I'll trust you. Yes, Love sir. it when you question me. You're so cute today. So another thing I like to do though is I like to put a mirror in every room because I notice when we go to Airbnb, sometimes if somebody else is in the bathroom, there's nowhere to get dressed. So I, put, I make sure I put a mirror in every room. Thinking like a woman. I know us men don't think about that stuff ever. This was my other idea, is to put a door on this. Oh my God, totally. Yeah, I mean, like maybe a bifold. Yes, with a lock yeah, on it. Right. I think that's the best answer. Yeah, that's that's the solution right there. Yeah. We're gonna waste all that time, have another idea. Now all that brain power shot, it was a waste of time. Now problem's really solved. So, but these, all these problems are gonna delay us getting the Airbnb uh, open too. All right, so, so do we think we're all set? So what's our timeline then? Let me talk to Neil and find out when he can get somebody over here. Because the problem is, those aren't big jobs to do. No. But our guys are all busy right now. We are. We have multiple flips going on. We have multiple Airbnbs going on. So, <clears throat> and we have multiple rentals going on that are yeah. being turned over. So all of our crews are busy. So it's not. It's not that these are huge jobs. It's just we have nobody to do them at the moment. I'm not sure why you're yelling at me, but I'm unless glad we you're... pull them off of another job, and then that delays that job. Again, I'm not sure why you're yelling at me about it, but I'm thrilled that you are. All right, so I guess we'll we'll do our thing. Yep. We'll get Neil over here, and so it won't be this weekend. Do you think we can shoot for next weekend? Let me talk to Neil and find out. I don't want to give you any answers right now. So you think Neil can get done by <laughs> next weekend? All right, we'll get it done with our next Airbnb on the market and see if we can do it. Biggest challenge, this is going to be, are we competing with ourselves? Because we're in the same town, we're the other sides of town. This one's far enough away, I'm not that concerned about it. We'll the our, next one, the next two, or the next one that we're doing is very close to our other one. So that so one will we'll be So we'll be able test. to have a meeting and see, if the, see how the short-term rental is working out. So short-term rental problems, I'm glad we spent 10 minutes on that problem. We just fixed it upstairs in three minutes. That's good. We gotta get the, the heating problem fixed. We're gonna get over here and do our thing, so. Yep. All right, okay. onward.